Okay, we go to another topic. Okay, we just go through, we just went through the single period capital reasoning, okay, which is one of the special investment appraisal method uh, will be examined in your ATCAX F9 examination. And then next part is about lease versus buy. So lease versus buy, what is lease? Okay, well, what are leases? Leases are contractual agreements between leaser and the leasee governing the use of assets. Okay, it's the official or it's the definitions that you can find in any textbook. Okay, but what's the, um, what's the consideration or what's the impact to um, financial management? Okay, what's the leases versus buy? Okay, the decision to be made here is either to lease an asset or to borrow money and buy the asset. So you have two options. Okay, lease versus buy. Assuming you have no money. Okay, you can only borrow money to buy an asset or you can lease an asset. And because when you lease the asset, you only need, you only need to pay the lease payments or lease expenses once um, the assets was used by you, okay? Um, but before before you have paid the money, maybe you can have cash sum generated from the use of asset. So it means that you have no, um, you, do, you don't have enough money uh, or by yourself to do any investment, okay? Just to borrow money, okay, it's the assumption. Okay? Uh, in the financial accounting terms, okay, um, namely two types of leases are identified. One is financial lease, the other is operating lease, okay. Financial lease transfers all substantial rewards and risk of ownership to the leasee, okay. Here, maybe you can check the latest IFRS 16 as a big change to the leasee. Um, they don't use, for example, they don't use the Finding needs or operating these um, terminology, uh, it's effective. I think it's one or two year later because I'm not the instructor of uh, F7 or P2. Okay, so I cannot tell you the details of the IFRS 16 operation or the latest development. So you can ask your instructor on these two uh, courses. But I remember uh, for under IFRS 16, okay, you have remember some of changes is happening. Okay, for this, and I remember from my from my from my friends and from my um, team members, they shared with me um, the I, IFRS 16 is a quite hot topic to be examined in uh, F7. Okay, if you have a chance to take F7, maybe in March as well, then please remember to to study IFRS IFRS 16 for the least. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, is F9 is not F7. So remember here, okay, in F9, okay, um, we consider the finance lease transfers substantially all rewards and risk of ownership to the leasee. Okay, here's the key terms. Uh, we consider that key accounting phase is considering. Okay, it also, we, we focus on the cash flow much more. Yep, so we go to the types of lease and then we explain it to you. A table, okay, you can find in your notes as well. It's a table showing uh, finance and operating list, the differences between this, okay. It should be page 19. So here I change it, it should be page 19. For this chart, okay, uh, you have different, um, they have different definitions of finance, okay. For example, finance. Um, exists for the whole useful life of the asset under one lease. Under one lease, okay. For operating lease, maybe several leases, okay. And for finance lease, the lease the leaser does not retain the risk of rewards of ownership. We just mentioned it, but for the operating lease, the leaser normally carries out repairs and maintenance.
the lease agreement cannot be cancelled under finance lease and operating lease, maybe you can cancel it for a short notice. Okay, it's a relative, um, it's a relative terms, and the last is substance of the transaction is the purchase of the asset by the leasee financed by a loan from the leaser, and the substance and of an under operating lease is really an expensive nature because the sub the substance of the transaction is the short term rental of an asset. It's a rental of the asset, and here is the uh, under finance lease. Here is the purchase, but by a loan from the leaser. So the decision to lease or buy, the decision to lease or buy can be made by calculating the NPV of each alternative and choosing the lowest cost. Okay, so NPV is the major or the only consideration for um, for the decision making. Okay, here um, under finance, okay, under finance or borrow to buy. Okay, what we call it borrow. To borrow, borrow to buy. Do we have any, for example, um, capital allowance or depreciation allowance? Yes. Yes, you have depreciation allowance under finance, right? Um, Do you have any tax relief? Yes. Because you have depreciation allowance and you have a tax relief on it. So you may have balancing charge or Balancing allowance, right? Here's the borrow to buy. And if it is operating lease, okay? There's no depreciation allowance, there's only the lease expense. Is tax deductible, right? Only lease expense is tax deductible. So in next chart, we'll share with you one by one. For all to buy, you own the asset, you can claim any capital allowance. For lease, you cannot claim any allowance, there's no ownership. For high purchase, yes, you can claim same allowance as if buy the asset by cash. For second part, balancing allowance, balancing charges. Yes, you have, you have the balancing charge, balancing allowance. If you buy the asset, you borrow to buy the asset. When you dispose the asset, then you have the balancing charge and balancing or balancing allowance. For least there's no, not, there's nothing on it. And for capital costs incurred, yes, in the first year. Okay, here's very important. In the first year, in your NPV calculation, please remember, in the year zero, please put the capital costs incurred as your cash outflow. In the MPV calculation, and if a lease, there's no, there's only lease payment involved. Okay, maybe benefit from tax relief or lease payment, as I said to you, for borrow to buy or for finance, you own the asset, you have the claim allowance, it has tax relief. Okay, on disposal of the asset, you have the balancing allowance or balancing charge. For cash outflow, the incur of the capital cost should be at year zero. And for lease, 
you have lease payment every year and every year you can you can claim the tax relief. Remember for tax relief. Remember this time one year. In area, right? For tax relief one year in area means you have assume you have the lease payment in year twenty sixteen. Okay. Then your tax relief is on twenty seventeen. Okay. It's the ACCA rule on tax relief. Last, okay, scrap value earned at time of disposal. For borrow to buy, you don't have um you have the scrap value earned at time of disposal, but for lease, there's no But for lease, there's no scrap value, okay?